old man fight. Oh, I'm sure y'all seen this shit, huh? So Joe Biden says if we were back in high school, I'd take him behind the gym regarding Donald Trump. You know, implying fisticuffs. And Donald Trump, ego just can't be fucking just provoked easier than oh god in present time now once like says he wants to fight Donald Trump now and I'm just thinking shouldn't they be having some sort of contest to see who could spray kids off of their lawn with the garden hose you know Oh, I got 35 of them. I mean, fucking old. You know, it, and Joe Biden, you know, it was an irresponsible thing for him to say, granted. But, but it's fucking Joe Biden. And he sure as hell ain't running for president, is he? But then again, it's like, how many things? It's like, you know you're running for president, right? Why, why are you saying this? What? what? <gasps> okay. So anyways. It just occurred to me that, you know, considering, A, my uh, extensive political uh, analytical experience and my extensive experience with uh, fisticuffs, maybe I should give a analysis, a tale of the tape, if you will, on old man fight. 2016, Obama versus, I mean, wait, um, Biden versus, I don't, yeah, wouldn't be much contest if it was Obama, um, Biden versus Trump, the rumble in the hospice suite, wait, what, okay, wait, I had, I had their heights written, okay, so, Joey is, uh, Joe Biden is, ch- Joe is six foot tall. Trump is six foot three, supposedly. Okay. And after seeing the debate, knowing that Hillary Clinton's about five foot seven, I'm like, maybe six foot one and a half, just from how, you know, he was like compared to her, right? Because I'm just over six foot three, and you know, like, I, I know how tall, you know, five foot seven woman is. That's like two of my sisters are five foot seven. Well, and I'm not even sure Hillary Clinton's that tall, you know, like, hmm. But she was wearing some little tiny heels, and he was wearing what looked like some elevator shoes. He was wearing some some pretty thick heels. And when he walked up to meet her, he kind of stood on his toes just a little bit to try to look taller. It must be like a shitty businessman thing, you know, like you want to you want to look like you've got the authority in the situation. Whatever. Uh you know, because you can't gain it otherwise. But, um... So let me turn my TV off before I get distracted. So, six foot and six foot three. And according to the internet, Joe Biden is... Oh, no, I didn't get Joe Biden's weight. I'd say Joe Biden... See, if he's six foot tall, he's probably about 180. Um, And Joe Biden's pretty uh, cut. Joe Biden, like, exercises very regularly. Um, And 
he kind of grew up in a very different way than Donald Trump did. Um, let's just say I don't think it was till the later half of his life that he had ever experienced a manicure, for instance. And uh, let's see, Donald Trump, it says on the internet that he weighs... Is that right? 198 pounds. Really? And that's according to the shit, you know, because if you're the owner of the of the of the statistic, you can log in and prove it, which I'm sure, you know, he made sure happened and He claims to weigh 198 pounds. <laughs> okay, that's that's fucking goofy. Like, I've gotten up to 220 before, okay? I maintained around 207, 212 for, for, for a, you know, couple years of my life. Um, before I hurt my back, after I was, you know, fully grown, when I was working as a stock clerk at a grocery store, actually, I need some more coffee. I'm, I'm still waking up y'all bear with me, but I, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't stay away from this one. So. 198 pounds with the fucking ass that hangs behind him so far he looks like a fucking duck when he walks. Like, okay. Hillary Clinton is not a skinny little waif, okay? When Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton walked out Posing each other, you know, on on the stage, on the debate stage, it was very clear that you know, like, if they were crossing a timed finish line, it would take Donald longer to cross. Like he, you know, from his fucking man tits to his big old fucking, like he got black girl butt. Okay, like Donald Trump has black girl butt. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, and um, 198 pounds? This dude's got, like, disorders, y'all. Like, like, there are things wrong with him on, on, on very serious levels. I just keep looking, like, 90 kilograms, 198 pounds, and he's 70 years old, Joe Biden is, is here, if you want to, what are I'm, what I'm looking at, I, I can't show you at the top, but I can show you, there's what I'm looking at right there, because uh, the top is some, some patents I'm working on that are so good, I can't even write them down, I just kind of write in acronyms the entire time when I'm taking notes on them. Yes, wouldn't you like to know? Not telly. But anyway, that's some good coffee. So, Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. Who would win in a fist fight? I definitely want to hear, you know, funny comments below. Like, Stop embarrassing yourself, little trolls. Like, like, like if, if you were ever to get, say, you know, like a girlfriend, it would only be a matter of them seeing some of the shit you have posted as a troll. And then you would no longer have a girlfriend. And that, you know, that's just the, the, in the unlikely event that you ever got one. Because you're a fucking troll. 
Mm. Say no more. Yeah. So. Now, one thing I do notice about Donald Trump, and the reason why I wanted to go looking at his shoes to see if he altered his height in some way. And, um, this matters very much in a fight. Is his reach. Um, Joe has very cut arms, especially for an old guy. He's 72, 72 years old. And my dirty old man just referred to Megyn Kelly ripping apart um, Newt Gingrich as news porn. He, he used, I, I think my dad used to know Newt Gingrich and then like Newt Gingrich backed out of this movie that like some other people that he, my dad was friends with were working on that was supposed to put like a realistic frame on Christianity and Newt Gingrich just backed the fuck out of it because Newt Gingrich is probably really a fucking Satanist dad. Um... Most of those people who were fucking teaching everyone back then were. So, yeah, Meg, Megan Kelly ripped Mike Pence a new one, and she ripped uh, Newt Lizard Boy. Whatever. I'm not going to make fun of your name, because it makes fun of itself. Oh, no, no, I mean, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of nice guys named Newt. I'm sure they were all very cute when they were little boys. But. I don't, I don't know what to say with it, to, to that, like. Let's face it. If you're named Newt. Probably going to get picked on a lot. And depending on whether or not you grow from it. You might wind up with kind of a grudge against everybody. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. Fucking, what's today? Wednesday? Yes. Trash is in the street. Fucking... Fuckity fuck fuck a duck for a buck. Bend over and quack, y'all. Shuck a ducky. What? The fuck are you talking about? That, see, you know, what's horrible is that you can thank a lot of my reflexive vulgarities to, like, my older sisters and, you know, also the fact that I never lose an argument. Older sisters. Um, they were tough, man. They were tough. <laughs> yeah, my, my, um, the, the middle-aged one, not, she's not middle-aged, but, you know, like, the one in the middle of the ages. She used to slay dragons, wait, no. Um, well, damn near. She used to be a, uh, a regular at mosh pits, basically. She went to, like, serious underground punk shows in Houston throughout the fucking early 90s and mid-90s. and I don't know. Might still do it. Just, you know, for shits and giggles. But she used to, like, beat the shit out of people for fun at the fucking mosh pits and stuff. And she went to fucking Sharpstown High School in, 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 in Houston and... If you know about that shit back in the fucking nineties. Yeah, she was she was feared. <laughs> anyway, most most of the people in my family um have like a toughness about them. Okay. And let's see. Think Paul Steve, well, Stevie, damn. They they range between um, intermediate 
martial artists with extreme natural talent to um, train professional assassins, basically. And that, that goes back generations in my family. Um, well, um, and my cousin Steve. <laughs> I hadn't seen him for like, I don't know, it was like five years or so. We had grown up, you know, we, I hadn't seen him since we were like 10, 12, right? And I saw him again after we were like 20, uh, maybe 10 years, okay? And we got in a little argument about some little play fight about some, and he just does like a beautiful pop backward spin kick, jumping over my fucking hair. Okay, and my old thing used to be, motherfucker, I will part your hair with a kick. Okay, that was my thing, and he actually got his wind to fucking flop my hair over, and f I'm like, you lucky bastard, you got to keep training because you know, like. My family kind of, <laughs> and um, he got to move up into this big old plot of land, I think, in Idaho, and they were raising like uh, uh, half wolves or some shit. Cool stuff he got to do. But I was kind of you lucky bastard. But, you know, I still adamantly deny that he would actually win if we were to really fight, of course, you know. you know. But, you know, he he went through some tough ghetto shit, too. He's he's, he's shorter than me. There, there's two ways more, Morris men come out. There's fucking lanky like me and fucking dwarfish. Like, my dad has eight brothers, and they kind of vary between that. Like, and they're all from the same two parents, my my. my my grandma and grandpa, uh, God rest their souls, uh, stayed married. Yeah. Back in those days, everybody stayed married. And I'm officially fucking babbling about everything. Six foot three. <laughs> See, this is why people use like teleprompters and shit like that. I'm sure notes on the fucking desks and whatnot. And I have a uh, cigarette. You know, by the time I start babbling, the cigarette needs to be relit. So, you know, relit, get back on topic, dumbass. Because it's 17 fucking 18 minutes. You get to the damn point, don't I? I don't know what's going on up here. Nobody kicked me recently. Um, So, let's see here. It'd be a good fight, I think. Even for an old man fight. Okay. But I don't think I'm biased, and I don't think I'm telling anybody what they don't already know. Experience is everything. Okay. And I don't picture Donald Trump having ever been in a situation where he needed to defend himself his entire life. Okay. Joe Biden, on the other hand, we know Joe Biden been in fights. Okay. We know Joe Biden was a little asshole when he was a kid. He tells about it. And that's part of Joe Biden's charm. Okay. And if apparently Donald Trump doesn't know this about Joe Biden, is that, you know, what, what, humbled him later in his life and made him want to serve was realizing that being an asshole is bad. Okay. I have this in common with him to a certain extent. I was more of an anti-bully when I was in school. You know, I just kind of became a, an obnoxious dick when I fucking moved from Houston to, uh, to the New Orleans area. You know, like, well, back, you know, anyways, long story, bouncing back and forth, city to city, whole life, basically. Um, <sighs> I need to fucking harvest some live food and get the fuck to sleep.
Because I only got about three hours last night. Can you tell? <laughs> Alright. So, I just spent yeah, about 10-15 minutes before I started filming this. Um, looking at height, looking at stature, looking at their hands. Okay. And uh, see, this is a... If I can get that in there. This is the hand of someone who knows how to fight. Okay. That's where the skin has been pushed back over the years from, you know, practicing on wooden bricks and whatnot. So anyways, it's very hard to find any picture of Donald Trump's arms, okay? And based on his waddle, and based on that, I would say his arms are extremely unfit. Nothing worth seeing, okay? I'm not saying mine are. I'm, I'm, I'm a little too skinny to be, you know, showing off my muscles, all right? That's just my opinion. Uh, my wife certainly doesn't share it, though. I'm grateful for that. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. So Joe, on the other hand, like I said, you can find plenty of pictures with Joe in some half bicep polos. Um, just, you know, exercising for the fun of it. He's got very good posture. He's got actual experience in fist fights. Um... He's only got a, let's see, top it out at at three inch height advantage based on the claims. But based on the obvious lying claim for the weight, um, I think my analysis of the shoes, and I, I looked up as many pictures as I could find. Okay, you go ahead. Feel free to. Looks like he's wearing some elevator shoes. Okay, Joe, like basically Trump's heels. Are about yay thick. Joe regularly wears what looks like just like a, a three quarter inch to an inch, you know, normal type business riser. But Trumps look like they're about an inch and three quarters, inch and a half. You know, give him just a little extra height. And um, yeah, who am I kidding? Joe would pretty much whoop his fucking ass. That extra height will not be made up with by his lack of reach. Okay? And the the softness of his hands, okay? Like, if you look at Joe's hands, you can tell that they probably have some hardness to them. Okay? They look like they, they done worked and, and gotten old the hard way. Okay? I'm not saying he done worked in a fucking mill or nothing. Alright. But he has that Scranton fucking, you know, being tough as part of being American type attitude. Like my family being tough as part of being Texan type attitude and, you know, part of being American. You know? To Donald Trump, pretending to be tough is part of his ego fabric. And the reason why is because he knows he's just the fucking fat Baron Harkonnen. You know? And a little girl could probably take his ass out. If you haven't read the book Dune, you don't get that joke. And you probably don't like my videos. Because if you haven't read the book Dune, as in Arrakis, Dune, Desert Planet, the worm is the spice, the spice is the worm. If you have not read this book, or 
you know, went to college and read, you know, many other books. But this one book for non-college people would teach you how to analyze politics and international strategy on a level that I could probably tolerate a conversation with you. These are the jokes, folks. These are the jokes. I mean, you know, I'm serious, but it's... It, we're just trying to be funny, alright? Because it's fucking true. It really is. And and I wish more people would read the book, Dune, so that they could understand, like, how to analyze history, and especially religious and war history. It really is a good book for getting into that kind of mindset. It's what they call in the book learning to understand the plans within plans. Now, so don't worry, there won't be any old man fights, I don't think. Um, I wonder if maybe I had a joke written down from some other video that I never got around to making. I know I got some more little videos I'm thinking about filming here. But anyway, I guess that's going to have to wait. I'm not going to tack nothing on the end of this one. Um, don't worry. There won't be any old man fights. But I, I still think it would be interesting if they, if they would do the uh, kids get off my lawn contest with the garden hoses. Yes, yes. I'm going to fall asleep. I got fucking work to do, so I can't. So. Just remember, I will not fear. Fear is the mind killer. I will face my fear. I will allow it to pass over me and through me. And in the end, the fear will be gone. And only I will remain. Sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? That's from the book.